Yeah, we are almost done with all of this. Bam! Okay, so here's the taxi, which will thankfully take us back to the hypnotist. Just gonna have a quick sip of water while we watch the skyline go by. Ah. All right, we need 10,000 bolts, which we have plenty. Use it wisely. Do not even think about it. All right, so now that we have the hypnomatic, we can take control of these receiver bots. You can strafe just like normal. You can fire the machine gun by holding the square button, jump with X, and you can press and hold circle to detonate. All right, so by pushing that button, we've called the taxi back because it decided to leave without us. How cruel. All right, so now that we have the hypnomatic available... Oh, hello. As you can see, we have security bots here. Or actually, the exterminators. So once again, we need to deal with this with the utmost in stealth and silence. Perfect. So we actually do need to backtrack a little bit now that we have the Hypnomatic, because there is one more Platinum Bolt we can obtain here that we could not get without the Hypnomatic. Oh, I never noticed the Black Sheep have red eyes. That's terrifying. Is that it? Is that everybody? Alright, cool. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Alright, that took care of that. Thankfully, there are no generators this time around, so this will go a lot faster than before. Okay, so... I need to reconfigure my quick select. Include the Hypnomatic. Because, if you see on top of there, there's a receiver bot. Now you want to go down here and detonate here, which you do by doing triangle. I am sorry, I thought it was circle. But inside, there's a platinum bolt. Whoops. I hit my mic stand. Let's see... Let me check my inventory real fast. Found 36. Okay, and I know the last planet in the game has... No, wait. No, it has two. I'm sorry, it has two. So, there's still two left. Yeah, okay. All right, so now we can go back to the ship. Donk. We'll need to e equip the Terminator for this.
Boing. You know, if you could just drop me off right at my ship, that would be great, but, you know. These self-driving cars, what are you gonna do, huh? Okay, acquire more ammo. Alright. Destroy more lampposts for more bolts, because, yes please. All right, back to the Tundor Waste. Okay, so gonna equip another shield and now we're gonna go in here which we were able to enter initially but without the hypnomatic we could not get very far oh that's right you use circle to take control of other hypnomatic bots Push this button, which will activate these platforms. Oh, I should use my test plasma coil for this. Keep jumping from one bot to the next. I'm so glad these things have unlimited ammo. They can just dump bullets. Thankfully getting hit only reduces your health instead of your remaining time, so that helps a lot. Alright, so by doing this we flood the area. Now we can swim. I think this is actually the last swimming section in the game, and one of the very few in the whole game. Uh oh, lasers. But thankfully if you just hover up right near the top, you can avoid them. No problemo. Okay, so we could go up here, but we're gonna go down instead. Because there's a hidden tunnel over here. Once you're at the top, find another platinum bolt. Now we'll just go back the way we came and actually proceed. Uh-oh, more proto-pets. I think this is where Angela's house is. Why don't we just clear off her welcome mat and then we'll see if we can't talk.
Is that it? Yep. Hey, nice digs. Yeah. It's a little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet? Watch this. Mommy, where do protopets come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do protopets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protobet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, that'll shut him down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lube? Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. This will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? Well, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. Just be careful. <laughs> right. Download the coordinates for the Protopet Factory on the planet Yeedle, Megacorp Headquarters. And the last area of the game. So, just like in Tabora, there's a mining vehicle, which can help you uh, get around, and also help you dig up raritanium. But, uh... Like, no. I, I don't want to do that, please. Okay, so, as you can see by that little green area, there's still one more Platinum Bolt we could get that we could not get without the Hypnomatic. So we need to go back here. I'm gonna equip another shield. Quickly get through all of the security drones around here. Oh, I should see if I can upgrade my hover bomb gun. Oh! Look at that. The hover bomb gun has upgraded to the tetra bomb gun! Tetra means four in Greek. At least I'm pretty sure. Uh, thankfully, Megacorp has no need for language because the tetra bomb gun fires five hover bombs simultaneously. And yes, you can still control it by holding circle, and then releasing it. Okay, so, now we can use the Hypnomatic on this... ...receiver bot. We've got a couple of Yetis, but thankfully with this firepower we can take care of them no sweat. Push this button. To activate the gate. And now, right up here, is another platinum bolt. Okay, so. Ooh, give me that. I need more bolts. Okie dokie. So, before we head to the Protopet factory, first we're gonna reload all of our weapons. And then, we're gonna spend the Platinum Bolts that we have and go back to Silver City on Bolden. Because, unfortunately, the last two Platinum Bolts or in the final planet of the game. And while it is possible to go back and uh, revisit the vendor to spend those Platinum Bolts, you'll actually only be able to spend 39 Platinum Bolts on a first game, 
because the last upgrade is for is a lock-on mod for the Rhino 2, which, unless you have grinded yourself silly, you will not be able to purchase on your first run-through. Because it costs 1 million bolts. Okay, to the mod shop. Okay, so let's see, what do we got? Definitely gonna buff the plasma coil. And meteor, meteor, blitz cannon. Okay. So that will help us a lot. All right, folks, strap on in. We're off to the Protopet Factory on the planet Yeedle, the final planet in the game. <laughs>